Well, I'm just here. I just wanted to do a, a little quick mention to um, one of our sponsors here. Um, that's Harry Shaw and his company here. This is his freight company. And he's, he's kindly paid for our fare over to um, the Ukraine when we, we're leaving Sunday, by the way. Yes. And we've got to say thank you to, first of all, Charlton Athletic. Yes. The only uh, club along with uh, Erith Town who've donated all their old kit and stuff, which we're going hopefully to uh, a team called FC Lviv. We're getting it to, and they'll distribute it to the youngsters over there. Um, also, we've got like Michael Levy, Mark Baines, um, we've got uh, Big Joe at the boxing, um, and I'd like to say thank you to Dice Recordings for their sponsorship. Um, so, what what so actually goes in the in the shipment that you're taking? Um, we'll we'll have humanitarian aid, um, which involves anything from medical supplies to food to clothing. Um, so I'm not sure. I've got to pick it up in Leighton Buzzard, and it's with a charity called Frontline Kitchen. Yes. So we're working with them, um, and we'll we'll pick that up tomorrow. Get the van loaded, um, and like I said, the the amount of people that have chipped in and helped us because we have to raise about 1,200 quid. Yes. With the insurance on the van mm -hmm. um, to get there with the, with the fuel, um, and and we'll stop in hotels at night because we do about. Four, four and a half, five hundred mile a day drive. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, how long does it take you the trip? Um, so we'll leave Sunday morning. We should be in Germany Sunday night, and then um, Monday evening we should be in the area of Poland where we've got to do our exchange or or find the hub that we're delivering to. Um, so we'll leave on the uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday night back in Germany, mm -hmm. and then Wednesday night, with a bit of luck, if all goes well, we're on Wednesday night. Fantastic, but this is not your first trip, is it? No, this is about, I think it's our fifth trip now. Yeah. But, unluckily for Dave, he was meant to have his driving licence all by now, and he has done the medical, he has done everything he's meant to do, but the um, DVLA and the uh, civil servants involved are just a little bit slow. It's like processing the asylum seekers they're on the uh, same sort of schedule i think yeah absolutely um, so he, he should be driving before 2029 i think that's that's good news <laughs> yeah so how many trips do you think you're going to end up doing i think this will be our last one it's they're quite an um exhausting trip to do yes. you know what i mean it's, it's four solid days of our driving across europe um yeah. and what you was know. your motivation for it it's just, I'd, I'd done it the first time with a friend of mine and when we got there and heard some of the stories and realised the suffering that the people were being put through, through uh, listen, any war is pointless most of the time, isn't it? Yes. It's just a yeah. couple of people's egos and yeah. people want to make money for different reasons. So the, the innocent people in the middle, like us, normal mm. working class people, are just stuck yeah, they with the results the of it and they take the brunt of it. So. We're just helping them out the same as we would hope someone would help us out here. That's all it is. Fantastic. So does Dave enjoy the trips? Dave loves it. He's, uh, he's, he's good company all the way. He does make me laugh. He will yeah. entertain me. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm, he's chief cameraman on this trip. Oh, fantastic. So yeah, we get to actual, see some footage, yeah? He's the season reporter on the ground all the way across. That's brilliant. Well, best of luck with the trip, Brendan. And as I say, thank you everyone involved. Um, to all the sponsors who've helped me, um, if I have forgot you, I will come back and I'll, I'll remind myself. But it was Dice Recordings, um, mm. Joe, Big Joe at the Boxing. Um, we've got Eamon O'Keefe. Yes. Um, Harry, yeah. Michael Levy, Mark Baines. Yeah. Um, they've all thrown their bit in. And I'd like to give a big thank you to Jason Morgan at Charlton, who authorised all the kit being taken away. And also Charlton themselves. They're a, a wonderful football club. That is why I go there. We are yeah. the best in the country. Of course, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, best of luck, Brendan. Cheers. There was one other sponsor that I just genuinely couldn't think of at the time, but it's Mr. Uh, Sujan Panis himself. Panis Helping Hands, who've done, like, I think they've done 200,000 free meals in the community. They've done loads in lockdown. But they've been raising money at their restaurant and they've donated, like, £100 to us for fuel money. Um, yes. So, and they are... They work a lot with Charlton as well, so it's all connected to Charlton, to be honest. 
Charlton uh, going to do well next year, Brent? Charlton, I think next year, are going to be up there, definitely in the top six. We've got a superb manager in Dean Oldham now. Yeah. Uh, a really good man manager, people's manager. The fans are behind him. Hopefully now with a takeover going through and they just look to him, they just need to invest some money. Um, you've got the right man to manage it and, and the fans will be behind it. We start winning a few games at the start of the season, you'll get the fans back.